Chelsea Boyton's makeup look. One lovely girl on, on comments asked me if I can do another look. So I choose this one. Uh, this is probably my third favorite. I also love, I adore this one. This one with very sharp eyeliner, but I thought that I can do this very fun, almost red, red blush. This is something that you can see around on red carpets and everywhere. My voice is different because I'm a little bit sick, but here I am now today with you doing some nice stuff and let's begin with this beautiful makeup look created by Miss Jo Baker. So I'm starting with my base. I'm applying Strobe Cream, Max Strobe Cream on the top of my cheekbones, nose, here, a little bit here under my brows and my brow bone, here in the corners, just to keep that glowiness, dewiness actually, not glowiness, dewiness because this look can look quite almost too matte with this blush and I want to keep that glow dewiness under that very red, red blush because no matter what look I am creating, I like to have that freshness in face. It's very important for me. I don't like matte foundation. I have never had matte foundation in my collection and I think that they look, they don't look natural. They look quite dry and I do not prefer that kind of look. I'm using Healthy Healthy Mix by Bourjou. This is wonderful foundation, very nice. It's good coverage from medium to full. You can build up this very easily. And finish is wonderful. Wonderful. So apply it very evenly all over your face. You need really good canvas, very even, even, evened out skin because this blush is in the center of everything. So there's no room for blemishes, for extra redness. We don't want that in this look. So I apply my foundation. Now I'm going on concealer. I'm using NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer under my under my eyes and just here where I have some redness. I have very even out base. And now I'm looking at her at her blush. It's something between pink and red and I think this is powder this is not cream blush and I don't have this shade of blush this shade of powder blush I have this NARS palette that has not that shade of, of blush so I have to mix colors and be creative because I really don't have this shade this shade of of red pinky pinky blush so i'm starting off with really bright really bright pink by by benefit because i want to layer colors not to put just one color and i'm done layering is very important so her blush is around here so she has quite a good amount of blush under her brow bone on her eyelid so it starts around here and then fades away it's really wonderful 
So just build up slowly. So always stop the excess. I have I have paper here and I always stop the excess. Always. And now I have this really really red red shade. So I put this very bright thing to to not make this red too much red. So I'm very very careful with this kind of shade because I don't want to ruin it. a whole look. And it may be fluffier brush. And always have one big big um, brush to blend off, melt off in in skin. So it goes till this line of, of hair. It's focused on on eyelids. It's just very hard to recreate. It looks very easy when you look at the picture, but it's very hard because it's very well blended out and there is no so much pigment in it, but it's wonderful. It's very hard. And for the end I'm taking taking very big brush and putting smallest amount of this red blush and always dusting that off and putting on this area of my face and then blend it out with, with another clean brush you have to have clean brush to blend out and brush through my brows to remove pigment and I think the blush is, is done. I don't want any more, less. This is okay. Now my brows, brow precise as always. Now I'm curling my eyelashes because she has the most wonderful lashes in the world. So lashy, very long, wonderful lashes. And I also saw that Jo Baker used pink. Uh, mascara and her lower lashes, but I don't have pink one, so I'll use just the tiniest amount of regular black one. And for the lashes, L'Oreal Hippie Miss Hippie Mega Volume Mascara. At first, I it doesn't want to focus. <laughs> it's here. At first, I didn't didn't like it. But it's good. It's very good. So actually for the lower lashes I will use this lipstick. This is not very pink because I don't own pink lipsticks in my collection because I never wear them. But I will use this for my lower lashes. I think that this will work out. I don't know if you can see that red lashes. I think that you can. <laughs> I can see it in the viewfinder. But it's very nice detail, very nice touch. So I'm applying first layer of lipstick just to make a stain. Very roughly. And now apply that last layer of lipstick. And lips are done. So this is my finished result. I created this and 
as I said, Miss Jo Baker created this for Lucy Boyton. I love it, so I created on my my face. And if you like it, please like this video, subscribe, comment, and uh, yes, see you in the next one. I hope you really like it, and until the next one, bye.